So, what's the plan for lunch? asked Maya. Well, I thought that we should get something like, oh, I don't know, meat. Ooh, that looks good. Stephen drooled as he saw a $10,000 steak. We are not getting that, Maya said. But it looks so good, said Stephen, grinning. Julius shook his head. Dad, you should know that Maya would never spend that much money on food. She's so cheap, you have to pay her just to get her to leave the house. Maya snapped. It's not cheap of me to refuse to buy a $10,000 steak. Maya sighed. Well, can't be helped. I guess I'll just have to make lunch myself. Julia screamed. No, he said. You're a terrible cook. Remember last time? Your food was so bad, I thought I was going to die. Oh, yeah? Well, then why don't you make lunch? Maya asked. No way. A majestic creature like myself is above such menial work, he said. That's a terrible reason, Maya glared at him. <sighs> if this continues, we're going to be making dinner, not lunch. It's already noon. I can make lunch, a small voice chimed. Huh? Maya stared at the source of the comment, surprised. I said, I can make lunch, said the little boy. Obasan showed me when we visited. Only, I'm not too good with numbers. Can you help me measure the ingredients? Of course, Maya grinned. Shortly after, the boy placed the cooked rice on the table. All done, he beamed, and they began to eat. All that is, except Maya. Hey, she began, did you ever notice when people eat, their mouths all look exactly the same? Stephen made a face. What are you talking about? Ew. Maya and Julius backed away. Hey, the little boy called. Your food's gonna get cold. Hmm? Hey, what does that sign say? He asked. Julius looked at his cousin. Really? You need to learn to read. It says, keep our hotel clean. Say no to rice? Huh? Everyone stared at the sign. Once again, it seemed they had no plan for lunch.